here, but sup? Hi. He's pretty hot. He is pretty hot. He works with kids. He coaches in Oakland, and I believe he's coached over here in New York when he's lived here. And, um... I don't think, I, I, Candace, as, as you, if you've also been paying attention to our videos, we do not share the same uh, interest aesthetically in gentlemen. Usually not. Usually not. But, so I don't know how you're feeling about it, but I'm like feeling the tattoos. Oh, I'm feeling the fuck out of it. <laughs> because, don't, don't you fret. Because <laughs> it makes it really easy to spot him in the pool. Also, very important, his tattoos are not lame. There's, and I'm not speaking of any Olympic-related tattoos, but there's some lame tattoos going Fred on. Busque. <laughs> and the French guy that won the 50, Lori, a.k.a. Lori Manadou's brother. There's some lame tattoo scenarios going on. Um, but when you've got full sleeves down your arms with more potentially to come, it's fucking awesome. It is fucking awesome. It's way cooler than having... The Olympic rings on your hip, Michael Fred. What's up with that? With that was that was a bad choice. That was a bad choice. I'm all about when they have it on their bicep. But this man is like, yes, very interesting. Doing graduate work at Cal. Um, still has to finish that up. Quoting Shakespeare. Quoting Willie. Quoting <laughs> quoting Willie the Willie day Shakespeare. the day of his race. And I will say, in regards to our Twitter success, we had a full on conversation with Anthony Irvin. <laughs> I was like, oh snap Eve, Anthony Irvin likes smashing pumpkins. Cut to the tweet. <laughs> Cut to response. <laughs> Cut to another response. <laughs> I feel like Anthony Irvin gets down <laughs> at concerts. Like, that's the dude you want to hang with. He's, well, this is one of the other, like, rumors or something, is that he pl he was playing in a band at some point. Let's just say this. Unless you all already know, I am older than Anthony Irvin and a little closer to Jason Lee's hacks age, whether you knew that or not. So, Anthony... I'm young. <laughs> so, really, like... Anthony is really one of the only, like, vaguely age-appropriate people for me. Nathan Adrian is not age-appropriate. He's not. Leave him alone. <laughs>